Welcome back to Ozark's Fox AM. Price Cutter has done it again. They have blown my mind. Me too. I blown my mind. We're seeing some things we've never seen before. I'm not kidding you. Some of the stuff I'm like, huh? What is that? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I mean, they have gone all out to really give you the best exotic fruits and veggies from all over yes. the world, right here locally in the Ozarks. I am just like, I don't know where to start, maybe just at this end, because it's it's amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Melissa's World Variety. Right. You can find her at melissas.com uh, for all of these exotic fruits and veggies. And then, of course, pricecutteronline.com and countrymarkgrocery.com. That's nice. You don't have to go to California. You can just go to Price Cutter because they've already got it in their store. So let's talk about some of these fruits, Jerry. Yes, let's start here at this end. Okay. Uh, that's the, uh, the, the mango. Mm -hmm. What yep. is that called? Uh, Superano. I can't read it without okay, wait, my, my glasses. Sorry. Superano mango. Yeah. Now I love me a good mango. Oh, I bought one the other day. Uh, just love because it. at Price Cutter, and I'm like, I'm just gonna eat this. Look how big and wonderful this is. I mean, I just want to just eat all of this mango because I love mangoes so much. They probably use these in their smoothies too. It's so. Oh, good. so good. Yes. And then right next to it, this really weird yes. thing that should be in the bottom of the ocean is a uh. kiwana. Melon. Yes. Now that looks like something from SpongeBob SquarePants. It really think? does, and you would know it from its spikes. But take a look at the inside of it. So over here we have. Let me. I'll bring this over to Matt. Yeah. I'll bring this over to you, Matt. Look at this. Here's the inside. Look. How weird. I <laughs> just, just that, can I just get, dig I in just, there? Dig in I there. I just want to see. You can see, see a few it. seeds. I just want to see what it like, tastes like. Like you eat the seeds. Mm-hmm. What does it taste like? Okay. It. I will be honest. It has a little bit of a cucumber taste. Really? Yeah. Oh, it kind of. It's, it smells sweeter it's though. It's not super sweet. Okay. And that is interesting. I like it. Okay. Then the one also, its neighbor in the ocean, which it looks yeah. like it should be, is down here. Rambutan. Ram, rambutan. Yeah, I don't even know how to say this. Look at this. Now, let me cut that one. That, that's you right there, one? but let me just show you how you told us to do it. Okay. You take the. Hold on one second. Okay. Here we go. All right. You take the end of it off, okay? And once you take the end, I, I need to take a little bit more to get down into the flesh, and that way then you can start to peel it, and, and then you just can take the outside off. And Jeremy, he said we really need to try this. And so luckily you've got try one that cut one? over here, so okay. I'm gonna take this one. Okay, put it in that bowl. Okay, so here, cut, cut that in first. half, Yeah. and let's try it. Again, I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. I don't know. But what if you find something that you love that you never had before? Okay, can I show then... this to the camera? Yeah, It's got it. a little bit of a seed in the center. Take a look at that. So I'm gonna say maybe we don't eat that part? I don't know. Oh, it's different. What do you think? It tastes like a grape, kind of. A grape? Okay, it's very fleshy. Mmm, got a little membrane. Hold okay. on, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. TV. It's I good love though. It's great. This exotic fruit. It is so delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, also, moving down because we have actually done stories on the pink grape. I mean, the pink pineapples. Remember? Yeah, we have. People have talked about it. I've never tried it. They have pink pineapples. Here. You want me to get more. you? Yeah, here. We got some. We're going to try some. I want to see if it tastes any different. Sorry, I'll I gave you two pieces. One. Okay. It's pretty. It tastes good. I love it. I think it'd be great visually in a fruit salad. I agree. Because it's pink, but it tastes mm -hmm. beautifully fresh like a pineapple. Right. Then right in front, look at these cute little things. Look at these little babies right these here. These little babies, what we got there? These are the uh, little kiwi thingy majigas. Okay. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Ki uh, kiwi berries? Kiwi berries. Um, no idea what they taste like. They look amazing. They do look amazing. And then the, the huge thing right here, look this, this jackfruit. Look at this jackfruit. Oh my goodness, this jackfruit. I'm so interested. I want to go in so and just huge. buy one of these and cut it. It looks like it's, some, it's the size of a watermelon. I will say this. The notes they gave us, because I was mesmerized by this, mm -hmm. it says the jackfruit uh -huh. is very popular for plant-based recipes. Uh -huh. It's a meat substitute. A meat? That makes you wonder what it tastes like. It has like a fiber texture. I'm afraid to even attempt to cut into this, so I'm not going to. Yeah, I think that's a now good I'm gonna idea. I'm going to do it. Let's move uh, on Over then. here we have the, uh, these are pepino Mel melons, pepino okay. melons. Want to pop? And yeah, do you want one of these? Yeah, Kyle? let me just here. Cut grab it me right out. Over okay. here. I'll grab this. Oh, sorry, sorry there, Matt. Here we go. All right. Look at those, beautiful. Now Kelly's pre-cut some of these now, too. Now this feels the the texture of this feels like a pear. I was just gonna say the way it looks. <laughs> yeah. Kind of I'm gonna give you a, a little slice here. Just a little slice. There you go. Thank you. And I'm does gonna it? hold this up for Matt, so I'm gonna get a little of that hair off of it. Uh, there. We <laughs> well, whatever's on it. Look at this. That was the fuzzy stuff on the inside. It's pretty. What do you think, Kel? Um, Tastes like a pear? I will have to say, a mm. lot of the exotic fruits that I'm tasting are not quite as sweet as... That tastes like a cucumber. It does, a little bit. That reminds me of a cucumber. It does. Oh, we got to get to these two. Look at these. Mm -hmm. um, these are the yellow dragon fruit, which are right here. Oh. 
I'm you sorry. want to dig into I'm that? I'm so excited about this. She just isn't ready to try these. Oh, I'm so excited Oh, wow. About you that. get in there. You get in there and try that. Oh, mm. here we go. Look mm. at that. What does it taste like? That is super sweet. Oh. Super delicious. And I want to try super sweet. Mm -hmm. And then the pixie, little pixie tangerines down there, which are so adorable. Now. Oh, uh, wow. That's isn't sweet. That, isn't that amazing? Oh, I love that. And then, do we want to open one of these or is it too hard to cut? Um, no. I can cut it. I just, I love tangerines. I'm just wondering, so this is not a native tangerine. It's just, this is, uh, uh, I'm pixie tip, grown by a small co-op of families in the Ojai Valley of California. Oh, okay. Oh, look how, let me just hold it to the camera. We won't have time to get into all this, but this looks like the kind that is super easy to peel. Oh, that looks Doesn't so that look good. good. And guys, for all of this amazing fruit uh, and everything that you need, go to PriceCutterOnline.com or Melissa's.com yeah. or CountryBarnGrocery.com. All of this is available to us in the Ozarks. Price Cutter's got it right there for you. Go check it out today. All right, we'll be back right after this. Yeah, Let's eat this. Tangerine. Let's eat this. Yeah. I'll peel it for you. There we go. It's beautiful. It does.